Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking particle text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm just going to be running with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS at a duration of about 5 seconds. Press OK. So once we have that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new text layer. So I'm just going to write my word and I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. Now if you don't see the align tools, you can go to window align and it should be there. The font that I'm using here is go bold bold and you can download that in the description below. So once you've got your text and you're happy with it the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a duplicate of uh, this text layer so i'm just going to press command d to uh, duplicate that layer and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for an effect called cc particle systems 2 and now i'm going to put that onto that layer now you can see that the particles here are you know kind of constricted to the size of this box you know to fix that what we need to do is we need to put a, another effect called cc composite and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag it on top of the particle system and so now we have all of our particles spewing from the middle so now once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is I'm just going to come and change the birth rate. I'm going to up that up to maybe around 20, 25. You can play around with some of these settings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the producer settings and I'm going to animate the position. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch. I'm going to make sure that this point here, which is on this uh, point here, I'm just going to change that value to zero. I'm going to move forward in time two seconds and then I'm going to change it to the uh, width of my composition which is 1920 and now we have a nice uh, particle transition that moves from left to right. I'm just going to play around with some of these settings as well so I'm just going to bring down the radius maybe to one and I'm also going to bump up the radius y so however much you want to bump it up is totally up to you maybe something around 20-ish 20 21 23 really depends so now what we have is we have a nice kind of linear wipe transition um, without the actual transition so we're gonna have to do that but before we do any of that stuff I'm just gonna come down to particle and inside of particle I'm just gonna up the max opacity and what I'm going to do also is go into physics and change to one of these presets. Now, any of these presets will work fine. Um, the one I kind of uh, like the most is maybe the direction one or the direction normalized. Um, they just give kind of unique uh, looks. So I'm going to keep with uh, direction normalized and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the velocity to let's say 0.1 and I'm going to change the gravity to negative 0.1. All right. And so now it will go up this way. And the final thing that I'm going to change in here is I'm just going to bump up this extra. So maybe if I bring that up to, I don't know, let's say somewhere around 20. Now you've got these particles that kind of look like that. That's looking pretty cool. Um, the next thing that we need to do is just hit this button source alpha. And now that will kind of keep it on the text which is looking great. And then we need to worry about the colors. So I'm just using color hunt here and this is gonna be my color palette here. So I'm gonna pick the lightest color and that's going to be my death color. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And then I'm just gonna pick a darker color for the birth color. So I'm gonna put that in there like that. And so that's looking pretty nice, but what we need to do now is we need to actually put a linear wipe transition on this. So I'm going to move to my main text layer and I'm going to search for an effect called uh, linear wipe. But actually before that, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, bevel. So I'm just going to bump up the edge thickness to about five and you can't really see that, but if I increase it, you can see kind of what's happening there. So just to give it a little bit more 3D kind of look, I'm just going to leave it at five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called linear wipe. 
and I'm just going to create a simple linear wipe transition. So click the stopwatch, all right, then go to about two seconds and I'm just gonna put that back to 100%. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have a linear wipe transition that goes with uh, the actual particles, but there is a little bit of a gap. So we're gonna have to bump up the feather. So I'm gonna bump it up to maybe, let's say 20, and I'm gonna change the wipe angle to negative 270. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight both of those uh, layers, press U to bring up my keyframes, and then I'm gonna grab the bottom set of layers, and I'm just gonna offset them. So maybe, maybe even one frame. And so now when we go through and we look at the wipe, it kind of looks like it passes over the text and then it kind of dissolves. And I think that's looking pretty cool, but you can play around with some of these settings here, but that offset uh, really makes a, a big difference. So now that we have our particles um, all looking nice, what we need to do is we can come over here and we can make this a little bit more 3D. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to my main text layer. I'm gonna press Command D to duplicate that. Um, I can get rid of the bevel alpha, I guess. Uh, I'll leave the linear wipe in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the color. So I'm gonna go to color hunt and I'm just gonna pick um, probably this color here. And I'm just gonna um, go and add a fill effect, all right? And so that will create that color for me. And I'm just gonna change it to that darker color. So I'm just gonna put it underneath the white uh, layer. And then I'm just gonna press down on my keyboard, maybe one, two, three, four, five times, depending on your zoom. So, you know, if you're fully zoomed in, maybe you need to do it a little bit more or, or less. So now once we have our second, um, you know, 3D kind of shadow effect, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate that again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring that down again, the same amount. So one, two, three, four. So it's maybe something like that. And then I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm just gonna pick the darkest color in there, put it in. And then now you've got that little bit of a 3D text in there. So when you, you know, go through it with the particles, you can see what's actually happening there. And that looks pretty cool. So the final thing that we need to do is we just need to add a background. So I'm just gonna come over here, create a new solid, call it BG, make sure that it's underneath everything. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to search for the gradient ramp effect. And I'm just gonna change the white color to my darkest color in my color palette, I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp and I'm just gonna make sure that I hit swap colors and then I'm just gonna move the top bit just so it's off the screen a little bit so you just get a little bit of that top uh, view over there. So the final thing that we need to do here is we just need to create a new adjustment layer and I'm just gonna put that at the top and I'm gonna search for noise and I'll bump up noise to something like 8%. And that's about it. So there we now have created a nice, simple particle text uh, reveal using, you know, the inbuilt After Effects plugins. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching your short tutorial on how to create a particle text uh, reveal. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.